Hey guys, how's it going? Guess what? It's been three weeks to the date since I have uh, paid for that uh, new Chipson. And I've got some pictures to show you and some tracking details about the order. And um, yeah, it's all a go. So uh, let's get started. Right, so where we actually left off last time was about, um, it was the 16th of the 9th when I last had communication with the guy. That was just after he sent me these pictures here about the, uh, the body sort of getting made and he was saying that it was getting painted. So here it is, here's what I've been waiting for. Hello David, I'm back with pictures now. And this is on the 21st. We're talking about four or five days later, about five days later. And look at this. All right, so we've got some green sort of tuners. We've got a Made in USA. We've got a serial number on the top there. From what I can see in these pictures, they're not high quality or anything, but no uh, scarf joint there. It all looks like it's all one piece neck, but we'll see. Here's the body. All right, so yeah, it looks nice. I mean, no more soon, but it looks really cool. All right, the important side. Let's check it out. Bit green. The tuner's a bit green. I like to change these uh, truss rod covers because they're a bit uh, thin. Frets look nice. Rosewood uh, fretboard there. I'll be using, see how it's a bit lighter in between the A and the E string? I'll be using this section just down here in between on the fourth fret where it kind of like half it halves there where it's light to dark and that way I can tell when I get the guitar these pictures are actually the guitar that I'm going to get alright so another picture close up of the headstock the tops are always a bit more flat aren't they than the original Gibson but this angle is looking down so we'll wait and see and the part we've all been waiting for what does the top look like here she is alright let's have a look that's what it looks like Which is pretty fucking good. Bit yellower than the originals. It's not quite as butterscotch. First things I can see is that there's no position indicators. You know the little little marks where you can see where you're up to in your tone and volume. Tail piece looks fine. The bridge looks like it's got the big poles, like the Epiphone style. Pickups are the correct way around. You've got the whites closest to the neck and the blacks to the back, because you can get them reversed. All right, so you can also see here the toggle toggle switch. Usually it's an amber. It's like that real dark cream toffee looking color and the rhythm and treble text is usually in gold so just a couple of things to look out for there but they always put them in that for some reason all right cool so that's what the guitar looks like that was on the 21st and i just said it looks great uh when, when's it going to be shipped they said they could do it straight away and they're going to give me a free guitar strap so we've got a free strap we get shipping and the guitar for 302 australian dollars at this point all right so he says he needs my approval before they can send it and I've just said, yeah, do I need to click something or whatever? Um, and he said, no, nah, just in here is fine. So that's it. He got my approval before sending it, which is a really good thing. Hopefully those pictures I just got are actually of my guitar. But it'd be crazy for them not, uh, not to send those. Otherwise, at the end, you just open a dispute. So let's check out the tracking order, which doesn't come in here. You've got to go to the uh, My Order section. All right, so here it is. I've got the order time and date, which was the 3rd of September. 302 your order will be closed in 24 days i guess that's if there's a problem we'll go to track order down here on the bottom right there's a track order thing there's a tracking number there and it's saying track tracking information is unavailable but you can track your order here all right so here we are shipping time down here on the bottom says it was the 21st of september we ordered this guitar on the third and it was shipped on the 21st so we're talking about 18 days so it's a little a little under three weeks for them to get the order make it chuck it in a box Okay, so what we've got here is logistics company, so the delivery company to Australia here is EMS, and that's the tracking number. So we're going to go check it out on EMS and see what happens. All right, so here's EMS's website. Just going to need to put in the tracking number here in the verification code, which is just up here, so they know you're not a bot. All right, for some reason I couldn't copy that, so I had to type it in manually. Let's submit and see what happens. All right, so here it is. Cool, so I can see here on the 23rd, there's three different points. It's posting, dispatch, and arrived at a sorting center. So... I'm going to keep an eye on it here. Fingers crossed it's not going to get held up at customs or anything like that. My next video should be an unboxing video. Hopefully, not just me crying in the corners and customs have stolen it. But, um, you know, let's just wait and see what happens. But, um, yeah, so it's been sent. That's the update, guys. The guitar looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited. Um, fingers crossed when it gets here, it's actually going to be worth all this struggle. But, yeah, uh, three weeks to the day right now, sitting here since I've ordered it and um, it's in a little yellow box um, flying around the world right now so yeah 
hopefully it survives the trip. Cheers, guys. I really appreciate you uh, watching and leaving your comments and hit that like button and uh, chat soon. Bye.